Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jay Jeter, and I'm back with another review. This time I have Fans Toys FT09 Telsa, which is an homage to G1 Transformer Perceptor. Here's the front of the box. Some nice artwork right there. On the side, you got Telsa. On the back, you got product shots of his telescope mode, or microscope mode, sorry. Uh, the figure itself. A little bit of a uh, write-up on the figure. Tells on the other side. The um, artwork of his microscope mode. On the bottom, same thing. And that's it for the box, and off it goes to the Phantom Zone. And inside you get the instruction manual for Telsa. Uh, nice little artwork right there. And show you all he comes with transformation. It's a pretty simple transformation. I have some issues that I would like to have seen with it. I get into that a little bit later. And not much to the construction book. He also comes with um, two guns. I'm not really sure. I think this one is came with the G1 toy representation of it. I'm not sure what this one is. It might just be a repair gun welding gun something like that microscope work on circuits something like that soldering gun and but um this front portion right here it does come off i'm not sure why but yeah and it's supposed to come with a third party collector's card but mine did not come with it and here is the figure that is in the box telsa or perceptor and he looks very good looks much better in person than i thought uh, a lot of pictures online show these blues look way brighter than they are in person um oh one more thing yeah also in the package i totally forgot he comes with alternate pieces for his thighs and his forearms uh you can swap them out and it's something i will be doing for mine um even though this blue does look okay i want a more cartoon accurate looking um perceptor so these will give me that that look that i want so let me take a look at them right, right now I will do a, uh, I will show off how it looks on the figure also at the end of the video, but yeah, see how it looks compared to that, so yeah, yeah, so that's all it comes with, so look at the figure itself, like I said, it looks, the blue on here, the default blue looks much better in person than as it did online on pictures and stuff, also with the face also. The face looks much better in person than it did in photos online. So yeah. And he looks nice. Um a nice size bot. Pretty solid. Nice detail. Not overly detailed. I mean he looks very nice to me. I don't get the inner detail in his work in his inner thighs, in his inner legs. <clears throat> Uh, his toes, his feet are die cast. Right here, these dials right here are die cast. This one up here is not die cast. No, it's not die cast. But his shoulder scope does go in and out. Right there. This chest panel right here does open up. Right there. All about brand that I put in with my repro label. This does open, so so yeah, nice looking figure. As far as articulation goes, we can go up a little tiny bit, looking up, look down, a lot more than we can look up. Okay, it goes left and right, go out at the shoulder, it takes it all the way around 360. He, has the, he does have like, I guess you can call it a little butterfly joint. You go like this with his shoulder. You know, I know it's not meant to be like that, but it's something, it's for transformation. But you can use it as a butterfly joint if you want to. Rotates at the bicep. Has a double jointed elbow. Rotates at the wrist. It has semi articulated hands. Um, they're not like the Dinobot hands, but they are, they do move individually, but only at the thumb on the ball joint right here. 
and you get these three bottom fingers. They just move at one joint, which is met at the hand right here. But this trigger finger has two points of articulation on it. So yeah. And they're not as tight as the dime by hands, but they are, are tight enough. Rotates at the waist. Nice ratchet. Skirts do move up to give you allow you to move his legs however you choose. Front side skirts two. Side sides two crotch skirts on the sides. And on the back does not move at all. And you can get a forward motion at the leg on a nice ratchet about that far out. Uh, if you rotate his leg a little bit, you can get a little bit more upward with it. Rotate at the crotch. Bends at the knee, 90 degrees. Rotates at the knee. Do the transformation. Has an ankle tilt. Forward downward motion of the toe. And that's about it for articulation. Like I said, he's very, very nice. He's articulated, very solid figure. And his guns, they do, um, you can't put them in his hands. They don't peg in that well. But due to his um, being able to, his hands being the tongs on his hands, do allow him to grip it without it being really pegged in. So you can try to peg it in. There's a slot, standard masterpiece. Peg it in, wrap his fingers around it. And he holds it in pretty, pretty okay. It does come a loose and whatnot, but it's all right. And my forearm is kind of loose doesn't hold his gun up but I'm thinking that probably the screw probably gets tightened so once I see how it droops so probably once I switch the forearms out it might do a little bit better so we'll see let's do some size comparisons real quick here he is with MP10 Optimus he's a pretty tall guy I think Persistent was a pretty tall guy in the show also he was him and, and blaster which the, the guys who transformed who mass shifted like i don't know what got real small but in robot mode they were big guys so that that's, is about right here's will jack and just to remember this the episode when they went exploring into Megatron, here is Bumblebee and Braun. I don't know if you remember the episode of G1. They had to shrink themselves down and go inside Megatron to remove some superpower he had. So, yeah. All right, now we're done with that. It's going to be the transformation. Uh, first, what you're going to do is go ahead and lift this up. Go ahead and untab it. From the back so I'm going to push this up it's on a little sliding joint also slightly and you straighten this out and just flatten it and bring it back like so now you're going to go ahead and the butterfly joint right here unlock the back and you're going to rotate this back down like so you're going to flip this panel right here in. Go ahead and rotate his head around so his face backwards. And this is not in the instructions to do this. It's something they forgot to print this step out. But when you look in the instructions, you'll see that his head is already turned around without them actually just showing you. So, yeah. Then you bring him down on this hinge right here. Like so. Next, we go in here and rotate the arms upward. Like 
that. And you're going to bring them in like so. Make sure this head is all the way down as far as it can go to get that clearance. And you rotate the arms inside like so. And it should lock into place like that. Next, you're gonna rotate the forearms this way. Well, I guess you should put the hands in first. So, go ahead and open up these panels on his, uh, his hands. Kind of hard to open up because there's no really way to grab onto him. These panels. There we go. Got that open. Go ahead and flip the hands inside. Panel open. There we go. And this is why I just rotate the fake the fist like this, and they do go inside. The fists are giving me fit. There we go. Then you rotate the forearms like so. Go ahead and close this up, the back portion. Now it's gonna seem like you have no room at all. It's very little room to deal with. So uh, you just keep on just keep on pushing it. Then you got these two notches, two tabs right here on each side. They're supposed to tab in two holes on the back of the arm right here. See that knot. It's kind of, it's, it's weird. It's the clearance. It's, it's crazy how this thing even tabs in. So you see that. Push it in. Very tight. Like so. All right. Bring the scope up. And there are two posts on each side of the scope arm. And there's two holes on the side of his forearms. He raises up, he pretty much pull the arms apart a little tiny bit so that this can fit in between and to separate them a little bit to so you can get the you can pay those posts into those holes. that finally got that then you want to reach your finger up in here then push up a little tiny bit oh before you do that make sure you bring this tray down because once it's kind of hard to get to once the thing comes down a little bit more now you're gonna push up slightly on that like so bring this front tray down bring the smaller tray First, actually, this one. Let's go back down low. Next, what you're gonna do is gonna bring the side skirts out. Side skirts out. And it's kind of weird. You're gonna rotate like this. Bring the legs out. And you're gonna rotate it around like so. Bring it up. And you got a little tiny hole right here that is a little tiny tab on the side that's going to tab it tab into so make sure you get that panel out bring it down tab it in like so same thing other side out rotate get it rotated come on there we go. Okay. Tab it in. 
Next, what we're gonna do, you're gonna take the legs, or take the feet, go ahead and take the feet, close the feet up like so. You're gonna open this panel up right here, bring this out, you're gonna straighten it out like so. Next, you're gonna grab this panel right here, the tread, flip that out. Next, what you're gonna do, you're gonna, there's a wheel in here, and you're gonna try to pull this wheel out. And it's kind of hard to do because it's not really to grab onto it. Unless you get some fingernails, you might need a little tool or something to get it out. So bring that out and just extend it as far as it goes. What you do is take this panel right here, you flip it onto the other panel, and you close it in like that. Next, what you're going to do, rotate this around like so. Oh, rotate the knee around. Then you're going to rotate this like so. You got this tab right here, port right there. And that should tab in. Man, I'm all kind of proud of this thing. Like so, same thing on the other side. Stand it out, out, flip the wheel out. Hopefully it doesn't get pushed out in even further. There we go. Flip, flip in, rotate around. Tab it in like so. And finally, go around to the back. You got this panel right here. You're going to try to flip it out the best way you can because it's tight and there's nothing to grab onto it with. There we go. There's a rear wheel. And, and there you have it. You have Perceptor Transform in his microscope mode and it looks okay you know it's a microscope i feel that they could have done a little bit better with the um the engineering and stuff you know as uh, far as features just, oop, one more thing these panels right here you flip them down like so These flip them down. There you go. So transform. It looks okay. I mean, like I said, it, it could have been done better, I believe. Uh, nice detailing on him. You got the two trays. Nice molded detailing on right here, his chest. If you pretty much don't see no more detail than you will see in his robot mode. But you got this knot right here that does rotate and it does extend out his microscope scope. And you can adjust it, go down a little bit more, up about that much. But yeah, it's a microscope. And you can look through it if you want. You can see through it a little bit. So. Yeah, that's about it for that. I guess do a size comparison. Um, you got Master Peach Bumblebee right here. And you want to throw a vehicle in, we throw in side swipe. You can see is how big it actually is. So he's about as tall as a um, a car, car bot in microscope mode. Yeah, man, like I said, I mean, I got issues with the, um, they could have done a little bit better. They could have, I feel they could have collapsed these thighs in or something like that. Pushed this, this lower leg could have collapsed inside here to hide this, this blue. Um, I think these arms could have went down some. And I also feel that I wish they could have um, collapsed the torso down a little bit more. I mean, 
made a little bit more compact. You don't see so much robot kibble with him. I mean, could have slid this in. I mean, I think they could have done a little bit more with the um, the transformation with him. I mean, he's still like a microscope to me. He just looks like a folded up robot into a microscope. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and transform him back into robot mode. So I'm going to flip these panels back up, which pretty much has certain no purpose at all. These up. Flip these panels back out. And these panels are a little bit tight. I don't know if there's a stress mark right here. These two stress marks. I'm not sure. I'm not. Well, hopefully they're not. Flip tread over like so. Oh. Flip the wheel back in. Tread. And you flip these over like so. The feet heel. Untape the leg. Going to bring this down to unpeg it from the side. Side skirt up. Rotate the thigh. Bring this down. Rotate the knee. One leg done. Flip this wheel up while we add it. Same thing on the side. Open. Open. In, close, flip, lock, unpeg, bring down to unpeg, rotate around, bring down, rotate knee, open foot, top half done. Next, go ahead. Unpeg these, bring it back. Oh, all right, so you unpeg those, bring it back. Go ahead and bring this back in. You can go ahead and close these up now if you want. Going to unpeg this and look at us possible stress mark right here I'm not sure or not might be the lighting bring that back out like so go ahead and bring it back down like that go ahead forms out bring the head up yeah bring this panel back up now i want to show y'all something real quick uh something you might want to watch out for i know you can see that now i'm not getting some proper light in here or not but inside here right here when the, the screws meet and stuff like that the front half and the back half of the torso i got a big old crack in right here so i don't know if it, cause it was over tightened or what i'm not sure i don't know because i from all the the cramming you're doing with this figure with getting his head in here it might put too much pressure on the plastic and cracked it or what i don't know but it's something you might want to look out for i already contacted my retailer or who i bought this from let them know about it so i'm not sure it's a widespread problem or not but something to watch out for all right got that up you're gonna butterfly your your arms bring this up and in make sure you get this upper panel is up as far as it can be and you're going to close the forearms or the arms back into the side of the torso to lock everything in place as well as it can. Take the head back around. Rotate forearms. Open your panels up and your arms to bring out your hands. I hope they come back out. Take 
that down. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Take your scope. And if the scope you can put it on any either side you want. Uh, slide it back down. You can put it on either side of two lock of um, clamps for either either side, whichever suits you. You can put it on this side for more toy accurate, or you put it on this side for more cartoon accurate. It works either way. I'm going for cartoon. So I'll go to the side, rotate it on the hinge. Push it in, should lock. There you go. Rotate it down. And there you have Perceptor back transformed into robot mode. And I'm gonna take a quick little break. I'm gonna swap out the forearms and the thighs and I'll be right back. And we're back. And I have switched out the forearms and the thighs and I like this look a whole lot better. You know, like I said, the, uh, the other color didn't look too bad in person, but still, the end, I prefer this more better, this one better, because it is more cartoon accurate. I guess see. All right. and, and it wasn't that difficult to swap everything out, you know, get three screws right here and get uh, like five screws on the thighs to unscrew. Tricky thing is the little ratchet thing. That thing tends to pop out, get that thing put back together on the thighs. But other than that, it's pretty easy peasy, man. Yeah, overall thoughts on this figure. I like the figure, I like the robot mode the best. The head, the face doesn't look that bad in person. I still will consider getting a um another third party upgrade for the face if one comes out and looks better than this one. Like I said, the overall design looks good. I got a few possible stress marks on some thin pieces of plastic on his thighs and stuff on those panels that come out right here. But other than that, I had no real problem with him the, um, as far as how he looks and then the quality of feel and the construction of him. But the only thing I got a problem with probably is just the engineering, just the look of his telescope or microscope mode. It keeps on telescope and microscope mode. I wish. I think it could have been done a little bit better as far as transformation. Things could have been collapsed down more to make it not like seem like he just folded himself up and laying down into a microscope, you know. I just see him actually transform. He looks great with the other masterpiece, I feel. And I think you can't go really go that wrong with him. So yeah. I, I, I qualify him as a get. All right, y'all. This has been me, Jay Jeter. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more figure reviews. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.